Hi there, algebra students. Uh, so this is going to be a review of uh, solving multi-step equations. Um, and so when you're talking about multi-step equations, you may just be undoing a ton of operations. That could happen as well. Oh, sorry about that. Um, you may be undoing a ton of operations, uh, which is basically just two-step equations plus a bunch of steps. Or you may have to distribute That is, use the distributive property or combine like terms. Um, before you get around to undoing to solve. Um, so we're going to look at a couple of uh, problems where you have to distribute and combine like terms before you undo to solve. And so here's the first one. Uh, 3x plus 2 minus 5x equals 14. And so, as always, the first thing I do is I look at my problem, try to understand what's there, and try to come to an idea about what I'm going to need to do to solve it. Um, I like to plan ahead. Um, so I look at 3x and negative 5x, and it sure looks like I'm going to have to combine some terms before I proceed, because they both have an x on it. Um, and so when I see that, um, I'm going to think, ah, yeah, I need to combine those terms, and then I'll look at what's left. So I'm going to combine like terms before I undo. And 3x minus 5x, well that is negative 2x, because 3 minus 5 is negative 2, plus 2 is equal to 14. And so we haven't really changed anything, we've just simplified it. Um, and so now I'm looking at this, I have negative 2x plus 2 equals 14. I see two operations, I see a negative 2 times x, because it's right next to the x, and I see a plus 2. And so um, that's negative 2 times and a plus 2. I'm going to undo backwards to solve it, so I'll subtract 2 to get rid of the plus 2, and then I'll divide by negative 2 to get rid of the minus 2, uh, that's, or the negative 2 that's next to the x. Um, so let's go ahead and start that plan. Plus 2, I'm going to take away 2. I take away from both sides to do equal things to equal signs because it's an equation. 14 minus 2 is 12, and then I end up with plus 2 minus 2 is 0, so all you're left with is negative 2x. And so now I need to divide by negative 2 to undo the negative 2 times x. And so I get negative 2 divided by negative 2, that's just a 1. And so I just get an x, 12 divided by negative 2 is negative 6. And so I have this idea that x equals negative 6, and that is what I believe is the right answer. But I want to check just to make sure by plugging in to the original equation all the way back at the top, that's the only way to make sure you don't uh, make a mistake anywhere in the process. So I'm going to do 3 times negative 6 plus 2 minus 5 times negative 6. And I'm plugging in with parentheses so I don't mess up any negative signs. And I'm curious whether that's actually equal to 14. And so I'm going to do the multiplication. 3 times negative 6 is negative 18. Negative 5 times negative 6 is positive 30 because negative and negative make a positive. 5 times 6 is 30. And so now I have negative 18 plus 2 plus 30. And so negative 18 plus 2 is negative 16. That is a weird looking 6 if I've ever seen one. Negative 16 plus 30. Um, and that is uh, equal to, uh, neg that is positive 14 because it's 30 minus 16. And that indeed equals 14. That's a true statement. And so my answer must be correct. Um, and so just to review, all we did here was we looked at the problem, we saw that there were two terms with x's, and so we had to combine those terms before uh, we proceeded with the undoing steps, which are subtract 2 and divide by negative 2. Alright, let's look at another one. So again, I'm going to start by assessing what's in the problem. Um, what I see is that I have a set of parentheses with a number on the outside. Um, and so that means that uh, this problem is right for uh, distribution. And so I'm going to use the distributive property here. Um, and so when I think about this, I have to think of this as a negative 3 times 2x plus 2. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Negative 3 times 2x. And negative 3 times 2. The 4 comes along for the ride. Because I'm not doing anything to that, I'm just simplifying. And so negative 3 times 2x, that is negative 6x, so that's minus 6x. And negative 3 times 2, that's minus 6, or negative 6. And so I have negative 56 equals 4 minus 6x minus 6. So now I look at my problem again. I'm going to use a different highlighting color here. Um, and I notice that I have 
two terms that don't have an x. So I'm going to combine them. 4 minus 6 is negative 2 minus 6x equals negative 56. And so I've distributed. That's what this step was asking me to do. And now I've combined like terms. And so the last thing I'm going to do is undo. So I identify the stuff that's in the problem. I see a minus 2 and I see a negative 6 times x because it's right next to the x. So um, in the order of operations, negative 6 times would come first and then I would take away the 2 to make negative 2. And so I'm going to add 2 to undo the minus 2. That's this minus 2 here. And then I'm going to divide by negative 6 to undo the times negative 6. And so let's go ahead and execute that plan. Plus 2. Again, I'm lining up um, the um, like terms as I do this. Negative 2 and plus 2 are like terms. And so I have negative 56 plus 2. That is negative 54. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So I'm just left with negative 6x. And so now I divide by negative 6, which was just part of my plan the whole time. Um, so now I divide by negative 6. I get negative 54 divided by negative 6. Negative divided by negative makes a positive. 54 divided by 6 is 9. Negative 6 divided by negative 6 is 1. And so I just get x. And what do I have to do now is to check it. Um, let's to make just to make sure that I haven't made any arithmetic mistakes or anything like that. Um, so I'm going to check it right down here in this box. So I'm curious as to whether negative 56 is indeed equal to 4 minus 3 times 2 times 9 plus 2. And again, you can see I plugged in in parentheses to make sure that I didn't mess up any negatives. So I use my order of operations now. I go to the parentheses first. I do 18 because that's 9 times 2 plus 2. Uh, keep using the word of operations, 18 plus 2 in the parentheses is 20. And so now I need to multiply negative 3 times 20, that's this part right here, is negative 60. So I have 4 minus 60, that is negative 54, and that is indeed Oh, sorry, negative 56. Whoops, 4 minus 60 is negative 56. And that's indeed equal to negative 56. So check, I got a true statement. And so now I know that my answer has to be x equals 9. And I can leave my test absolutely sure that I haven't made any mistakes because I checked my work. Um, and that is a, sort of a brief overview of multi-step equations. Things will get a little bit more complicated in the future. Um, but if you guys try hard, I'm sure you'll get it.